What is up everyone and welcome back to more Sword Art Online Season 3. I am here with my reaction to Episode 7. Now, in the last episode we got the absolute lowdown on everything that is coming <laughs> in this season. I feel like it threw so much information at you, which, it, you know, this is a Sword Art thing. This is what it likes to do. We haven't actually gone back into Kirito's game world in a couple of episodes, so I wonder what he's been up to. So we've learned, of course, that Kirito is in a coma, but he's apparently in the best place, getting the best treatment. Although I'm still skeptical about the whole thing because it's not just about Kirito's treatment. There's obviously outside factors coming into this. There's someone else who has their own motives, their own intentions, and obviously they're using Kirito, which again makes me kind of feel like was this intentionally set up so that Kirito would end up in a coma because as Asuna said, had Kirito known everything about this project, he never, never would have been a part of it. So I do think that there's some foul play going on behind the scenes with this. Don't forget if you want to watch the Patreon style version of this video to head on over to my website suzylou.co.uk and become a VIP member. That way you can also join my Discord and we can chit chat all things anime, gaming, Whatever. Christmas. Christmas. So excited for Christmas. All right, let's delve on into episode seven. Kirito. <sighs> Kirito. I don't think I've ever had anyone like slap my face to try and wake me up. But if they tried that, I'd kill them. Good morning, Yujiya. <laughs> Good morning. Want to go into town today? The sun's out, and the sky's gorgeous. You know what I was thinking though, which is probably a crazy thought. Obviously at the moment, the entire world is dealing with COVID. If we had a way to dive into games like this, wouldn't that really help people? Because obviously we can't go anywhere at the moment. Like I know I'm in lockdown at the moment. I can't go anywhere. So imagine I could deep dive into something like this and I could travel using my mind and all of those things. I guess in a way I'm kind of warming up to the possibility of something like this. Damn, that's yummy. Can't you wait till we get home? No. They taste better when they're fresh out of the oven. Want to have a bite? No thanks, I'm good for now. Maybe later. Suit yourself. You know what's interesting actually? When I was in Japan, nobody ever ate while on the move. They would stand next to bins provided outside, eat their food, put it in the bin, and then continue their journey. Just interesting. We got to hone our swordsman skills quite a bit while living and working on that farm. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! The Swordsman! This I gotta see. You know what I think about sometimes in regards to Kirito? That he might become the next Kaiba. That kind of scares me a little bit because he's as obsessed with this virtual world. I can't get over how amazing it is that we're even here. Oh, come on. It's been like a whole year since we moved to the dorms. You should be bored out of your skull by now. <laughs> I guess so. Kirito. Huh? Lena. What a coincidence. Lena. Hey, good morning, ma'am. Good morning. My last doggie was called Lena, and I've never heard that name since. I thought you were going home for the day. Yes, I was just there, actually. They sent me back to get some things. Um, may I carry that for you? That's very kind. However, you're supposed to be Golgoroso Balto's page. You're right, I'm sorry. I was out of line. I appreciate your offer to assist me. Really. However, I'm almost finished with my shopping. Besides, this is your day of rest. You shouldn't have to think about work. I wish. On my days off, I'm still working. <laughs> Which, yeah, I get it. It's my fault. Uh, thank you for everything. It was an honor knowing you. And an honor for me, too. Same. They're so respectful. 
I love it. I love it so much. I'm a nervous wreck when we spar, because she's so intense. Gogoroso can be pretty intense too. In fact, even after all the training I've had with him, I still can't score a single point. Same here. Lena's always two steps ahead of me, and she's second seat in her class. I wonder how strong Volu is. He's in the first seat. Pretty strong. Can you even imagine beating an upperclassman? I certainly can't. And that there's the problem. Oh, you mean like that's the problem because he doubts himself? I know that Kirito doesn't tend to doubt himself. He always wants to strive to be the best. I learned that in this world, your true power wasn't just expressed in numbers. Only three stats show up in your window. Your life, your object control authority, and your system control authority. If your object control authority is a low number, you can barely even hold a higher class weapon. But if your stat's way bigger than the weapons, it feels crazy light. If you're low level, you can only use simple spells. But if you level up, you get access to more sophisticated ones. But there's an extra feature here that affects your stats. It's something SAO and AOLO didn't have. Sometimes the strength of a mental image you create can influence your stats. If a person has the confidence or will to win, their power can be amplified many times over. Oh, so that's why he mentioned Yu-Gi-Oh being like, that's the problem. So if you can imagine yourself to be more powerful than anyone, you'll have the potential to rewrite the laws of this world. Can I just say, that is so true in real life as well. If you believe so strongly, this is how, what I think, that anything is possible, then you'll do it. You'll do great things. Ooh, they're both quick. Learning from the best, Kirito. You win again, as always. But you came close a few times, didn't you? No, it was all you. Don't be so modest. I know you still have some latent power you're hiding from me. <clears throat> but over the course of the year, it's become obvious how unrefined my skills actually are. What? Really? I thought she was like the second best. There is someone I have not managed to beat either. Oh. You mean first seat Volo Leventane? Yes. Between you and I, whenever I face him, I falter. Just like a coward. No matter how hard I train, I can't seem to convince myself I have the skill or the power to withstand his sword. There is more to the Aincrad style that you haven't shown me, isn't there? <gasps> so before I graduate the day after tomorrow, I want to know everything you're capable of. I love that she has so much faith in Kirito as well. I feel like everyone in life needs someone to have faith in them. The greatest sword skill I can use. But tomorrow's a day of rest. You know training is forbidden then. Yeah, but it won't be training. It'll be your... your graduation present. Yeah, that's it. You can give presents on days of rest. <laughs> I've never heard of gifting sword skills before. But if you insist... I have this like pain in my heart just thinking though like what if Kirito in this game ends up like falling for someone? I guess it wouldn't matter though because when he would wake up he wouldn't remember them anyway, right? Because that's the whole point of it. Practicing ma'am, with elite disciple Sordalina Surlut. Our session went longer than usual today. I applaud your commitment to your education. It is your duty as a page to learn from your mentor. However... It seems to me that you think your training gives you permission to break your curfew. Oh, of course not, Mrs. Zurica. Uh, all I want is to get better as a swordsman, that's all. Mealtime is starting in 17 minutes. Make sure you're not late for that. God, they're so obsessive when it comes to, like, rules and routine. And what happened to the fact that we were kind of in a rush to find Alice as well, when it's been years of us being here? They don't exactly seem like 
There's a sense of urgency. They get to just waltz in and eat as if they own the place. I so envy their good fortune. Now, now, Umber, don't slander. Pages have their struggles, too. I'm sure their duties are beyond what even we can imagine. Could you imagine what it must be like for them, having a mentor from a lower-class house? Whoa! These guys are snobby! How's your garden coming along? <laughs> Doing pretty good so far, actually. It should be in full bloom in time for graduation. Nice! Can't wait to see it! It's like they talk crap on us, and then when we have a conversation, they're listening into us. Like, yeah! They're going to make a wonderful graduation gift for Lena. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> Give me a break. After knowing you for the past two years, I had no idea you liked puttering around a garden. Yeah, I'm as surprised as you. Maybe before you came to rule it, you used to be a gardener. Yeah. I don't think Kirito's ever, has he? I don't think he's ever shown an interest in gardening. Or am I forgetting something? You're training to be an integrity knight. But you're only here because you're helping me. I'm here because I want to find Alice and bring her back home. What if you remember your home? Well, if he remembers his home, you're still going to be on the same mission anyway because he cared about Alice too. For a swordsman, being an integrity knight's a dream job. I'm weak. I always have been. If I hadn't met you, I don't know. I guess I'd still be swinging that axe right now. But you're not still swinging that axe right now, so get it out of your head. You're on a different adventure. Now, honestly, I believe everything happens for a reason. When you said you wouldn't return to your home even if you got your memory back, it filled me with such relief. Oh, come on. Quit your moping. You think I could have made it all the way to the capital by myself? The only reason I'm here now is because of you. We make a great team. So why mess that up? We're better if we stick together. Best friends forever! I just love the two of them together so much. I just think they complement each other so much. I'm having a hard time with my sacred art skills. So what do you say? Want to help your partner out? <laughs> of course. In fact, Tomorrow's our day of rest, so we can study. I can't. Oh, right, I forgot. Yup, tomorrow's the day I pick it up. I bet you're excited. Hell <gasps> yeah. I'm... I don't trust these guys. Why are you snooping? They're gonna be a big problem, aren't they? A black brick grindstone's supposed to last me three years. I went through six of them this year working on that thing. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. That branch was so tough, it took me a whole damn day just to scrape a sliver off it. You have any idea how many hours I spent shaving away at this thing? The tip of the Giga Cedar is the part that absorbed all the blessings of Solus. <laughs> Go and see Sardere, the craftsman, and leave it in his care. He'll make a wonderful sword from it. See that? I'm a craftsman by calling, but metalsmithing's where my heart's I'm really... I'm sorry. Did you finish the sword? <laughs> don't interrupt him. That looked really awesome. I don't remember us talking about money yet. <clears throat> don't worry. It's okay. Pay the man. If you don't have enough, I can loan you the rest. Of course, I might let you just have it. Huh? Huh? Really? Really? Okay, what favor do you want? When I finished, I tried picking it up, and the damn thing felt heavier. No way. It did? <gasps> oh my god, guys. It's beautiful. What's wrong? Draw it. Okay, here goes. Come on, Kirito! Top swordsman! Whoa! What the heck? It's super powerful! Well, now I've seen everything. It's a good sword. Damn right it is. Anyway, the sword's all yours. I'm a man of my word, after all. <laughs> Thanks a lot! 
Well, thank goodness we didn't have to dip into our coins. I wonder if this is going to make him be able to beat Lena. This world's no game, but it's got sword skills. I can only do two hit combos with my practice sword. Let's see what this can do. What the heck was that? Oh. You wanna jewel me? The blue rose sword couldn't do one, but maybe this can. Oh, don't be mad about that. It was just an accident. He wants a jewel, doesn't he? First seat, Leventane. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, elite disciple Leventane. I didn't mean to get dirt on your uniform. I've seen you before. Your elite disciple Sirlute's page. Yeah. Well, listen, why were you standing there anyway while I was training? Accidents happen. I wasn't. This isn't practice, sir. Um... I was just trying out my new sword. I couldn't wait till tomorrow. Your test swings were, how shall I say, enthusiastic? <clears throat> you and I are similar that way. So I shall overlook that transgression. You're very generous, sir. Thank you Do for- Do not thank me yet, trainee Kirito. Uh, pardon? I did not say I would forgive you for this. Wait. You're actually gonna punish someone for a little bit of mud. Just go wash it. What'd you do this time? Nothing. <laughs> oh well, it was a good run. You survived a whole year here without getting into trouble. New record, partner. Lord <laughs> Leventane, what is the meaning of this? Just a minor infraction. Your page was disrespectful to me. Nothing that demands serious punishment, mind you. So, we shall settle it by sparring with real swords. What did you say? But I thought you weren't allowed to do that on this day. Kirito, have you discussed the rules with him yet? No, but since we're using real swords, isn't it stop short? I forgot to mention something earlier. I do not engage in short-stop duels. For all my personal matches, I prefer to fight first strike. He's not what? got a match with real swords. Besides, you need his consent. Of course, mine too. Well, trainee Kirito, do you agree? Don't no, do this it, is Kirito. dumb. Bolo's strong. He will hurt you. I think I'll let you decide it, Lord Leventane. I'm the one being punished after all. Well, of course he's gonna go for it. Oh no. <laughs> Kirito. What an idiot. He can't help himself though. He's just obsessed with swords. And it's funny because obviously at the moment he doesn't have his memories. If he had his memories, he'd be probably a lot more obsessed with finding Alice. But like at the moment, I feel like that's more Yu Gi Oh's thing than Kirito's. And Kirito's more just like trying to find himself at the moment and uh i mean i guess why not why wouldn't you just be like all right let's just do this let's just mess some stuff up let's have some fun because I, I guess i would probably be the same i really enjoy learning more about the world in this game and it's fascinating actually that we've moved from one village to another now we're introducing some brand new characters as well so we get to know them all right, bring on the next episode. Kirito, you better win, okay? And if he does win, oh, there's going to be a lot of jealous people, I can imagine. Thank you so much for watching my reaction to this episode, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.